The production of that is so beautiful with the strings and all that. I hope I did it justice just with me and the piano. You know, when I wrote this song, I thought about children who are afraid of the dark and adults who have trouble sleeping because of worry and anxieties and fear. And I wanted this to be a comfort for, for all of us, really, a kind of nighttime lullaby for children, adults, anyone who might need that. And I remember I was already in bed one time and I had known the scriptures, he will never leave you or forsake you for a long time. I heard it as a child, I memorized it. But this particular night, the Lord drove that home to me. And I remember thinking, he will never he will never, never leave me. And that thought was amazing. Let me just read some scriptures to you. That verse is found in Hebrews 13, 5. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. And why? Why does he say that? Because he loves us. He loves us so much. Psalm 31, 7. I will rejoice and be glad in your steadfast love because you have seen my affliction. You have known the distress of my soul. God knows our suffering. He feels our pain and we can be reassured that he loves us and he sees us. He actually knows us better than we know ourselves. Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. 
The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. God's comfort is renewed over and over again, fresh and new like the morning sun. It never runs out. And Romans 8, 35 through 39. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? No. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor things present nor things to come nor powers, nor height, or depth, or anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. There's nothing on the face of this earth, not even death, that can separate us from his love. Psalm 23, 4. This is a popular verse. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And Romans 8, 28 is a wonderful promise. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purposes. God wants nothing but good for us. In Isaiah 40, 28 and 31. They who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Those who call on the name of the Lord will find strength that they didn't even know they possessed. Deuteronomy 7, 9. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God the faithful God who keeps his covenant and steadfast love to those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Over and over, the Bible affirms God's love is is steadfast and it's always available to us. And here's that great promise in the Bible, John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. And lastly, I want to read Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber or sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Well, I don't know who needed this, but I pray that it reached you and I pray that it was comforting to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.